Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome for another Savings Challenge Sunday. And I also have some happy mail to unbox with you. So if you're interested in seeing any of this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, before I get into this, I would like to read our card for the day. It says, write a note to a friend and send them a sweet Cersei. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to have to Google that. Let them know how they have loved you and impacted your life. It is so nice to pour into others not knowing where they are personally. I love that because oftentimes, you know, a lot of people go through things in silence and they don't necessarily tell you about it. So sometimes just having those quick words of encouragement or letting people know that you are thinking about them, you know, it can make a world of difference. So I really, really enjoy that. Um, now to the happy mail. So Firmu reached out to me about showcasing with you guys some glasses. And I'm like, well, I don't really wear glasses, although I probably should. I don't. <laughs> Um, but they did allow me to grab a pair of sunglasses. So it comes in this super cute like plastic box, which is nice. So it can also serve as like the glasses holder. And then inside we have some cards. Um, and they do have codes on here, but I have a discount code that I will share with you guys. It is in the comment section. And then here's some more about the company so they do have some they have so many affordable options of glasses that you can choose from again if you wear you know traditional lenses you are able to put your prescription codes in and get the lenses that you prefer um, even if you're doing the sunglasses you can do the same thing I just opted for the sunglasses because I do need those more at this time. And the particular pair of sunglasses that I picked were $39, which I will post a picture of the glasses, like more of the descriptions about it. Um, but I will post that here. And then, so you have your, it says cleaning cloth, cleaning cloth and pouch, which is kind of cool. So this kind of doubles as both. It does have that cleaning cloth feel to it, which I like. And I love the idea that it's, you know, one thing. So essentially I can carry this, carry the pouch, throw it in my bag and not have to worry about it getting damaged, which is amazing. And of course it is like this beautiful turquoise tealish blue color. And you guys know I am all about the blue. So I am loving that. Oh, I love these. So they're like that cat. I call them cat eyes. I don't know if that's what they're technically called, but I love them. And they're in the tortoise pattern and they have like the gold, um, you know, detail on them. Oh my gosh. They are so gorgeous. Ah, they are so beautiful. They feel really good and like sturdy, um, you know, so they're not going to just break like after the first wear. And yeah, I love these. Love, 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 love these. So let me put them on real quick. And y'all, I'm, I'm looking how I'm looking because I'm about to go outside. <laughs> and probably had on like a hood and a coat. So I didn't, you know, do too much uh, pampering of myself today because I'm going to be outside for a while. But let me put these on and show you what they look like on my face. Okay, you guys, hopefully you can see me okay. I'm not sure about this lighting. And then I have this like ring light on. So <laughs> I am in my bedroom and my entire apartment is pretty dark. Um, but they are so cute. Sorry about the ring light. I can see it in my eyes. Um, oh my gosh, they are so cute. Like I love them. They're very lightweight. So they don't feel like heavy on my face, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to leave those little like nose uh oh yeah they're already starting to kind of form those little nose dents but that's like the honestly to be perfectly honest that's why i don't really wear glasses <laughs> not that i don't need them but i don't i just don't like that little you know nose thing but for sunglasses i'm like it's okay because you know i know obviously after a while your face kind of fixes itself so anyway i love them i love them i love them like i said i will leave the description information in the box 
in the description box below so that you can get yourself a pair. Thank you so much, Firmu, for reaching out. I love them. And I cannot wait to spend the rest of my afternoon outside in them. Okay, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get to this cash stuffing. Um, I have my challenges here. And we'll actually, you know, today we'll actually start here. So I have this one from Ellie on Earth. So let's scratch and see what we get. Oh, goodness, eight. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, and then this is from Canadian Finance Journey. And these are both their community challenges. Woo-wee! That are, um, they're, they're both doing their community savings challenges. So I will link them both in the description below. So that is a total of $14. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's get this out of here first. What did I say? 14, 5, 10, mm, 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 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. So we will pop that in there with those. And then I'm gonna keep working on these through November. So you will be seeing those again. And then I also have these super cute ones. These are from GB over at Income Babes. It came in a set of six, but I just chose the, um, the three ones that were like Halloween and then I'll do the other three in November. So we're gonna start off with the cash part. So we have a two, three, four, five. We'll start there. We're going to make each one of these icons $1. So, hmm. Uh, we'll just use this. So this pumpkin will be one. Oops. Two. This is why I don't color. And three. My hand slips. <laughs> All right, so that's two, three, four, five, six. What did I say? Why did I get $5? That's three and three, that's $6, whoa. And then another three, one, two, three. And then let's roll. Oh my goodness. We got a six for this one. Oh, I hope I have enough money. Let's roll again. A four. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. Mm, mm, mm. And a four. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I barely had enough. Okay, so with these, I saved 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 dollars. I would have had to go in my wallet. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Sister girl would have went in her wallet because I'm I can't have an IOU in this. Okay, so there's that. All my extra money is gone. So now I need to come up with more extra money. I am going to put these in here in my completed challenges. Do I even have a dollar for the ding, ding, ding? Yes, we are going to ring the bell. Add a dollar to the ding, ding, ding challenge. Okay, and then let's go ahead and work on this. This is from Donna, Powered by Creativity. I have my $18 here. So we are, and I already have this printed for next year. So I definitely will be doing this again. So I'm super excited about that. Let's see. So two goes in five, which is abundance. Four, self-care. Six, oh poop. Two, holiday. Six again. Oh, six again. Wow, six again. 
two and two. All right, so generous, give generously, did not give anything. Holiday got one, two, three, four, five, six. Deck did not get anything this time. Self-care got two. Uh, abundance got two. And travel should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Or not travel. Oh, poop. Got eight. All right. That is awesome. I do have $53 to play with today. I must have had an IOU. Um, let me make sure. This one must have been, an, one of these had an IOU. Okay, yeah, $3. Okay, so yes, I have a $3 IOU, so I brought $53 to the table today, and that's going to go back here where both of these box challenges go. And I will be counting it at the end of this video because this will be the last one for the month of October, which is nuts. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side. So we can start with the spooky box. And this is from Income Babes. I'm gonna go ahead and pay this $3 IOU so that I don't forget. I got a bingo in the last one, just in case you missed it. So that's why I had an IOU. These are available in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in grabbing one of those, definitely go do it. And, um, okay, let me grab the cards. All right, here we go, spooky box. We got section four. This is, oh, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna see how many cards. Five cards, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we got this one first. This one is five dollars. So we will put a five in here. Let's mark this off. And then we do need to mark it off on the bingo board. So I'm actually gonna keep this out. Okay. Then we have this one. The potion is on number one. Oh my gosh, $9. Is that the right one? No, why not write a one? That's on number five. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that section one. That's that's not that one, that's this one. $4, <laughs> add one for an extra fee. So it would be $5. So we're gonna put that five back and just grab a 10. And we will mark off this potion, which is this potion. Okay. And then we have this one. It's either in section one or section two. So let's see. Oh, we already did that one in section one. So $4 in section two. So we'll put this one back and grab a five. And this super cute prop money here is from Marty over at Budgets and Chaos. So definitely check her out. And that cookie is here. Okay, and then we have this candy, which is also in section two for $5. For some reason, I already marked that off, um, but that's okay. So we'll put this here. Oh, and this card is completed, so that's fun. Okay, and then the last card, we have this one, so section three. Oh. Y'all don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. I don't know why I wrote three and four because neither of those <laughs> are on three or four. Where is this? I need this one because that's the one I don't have. That's $3. I don't know why I wrote 
the maybe I was writing the amounts. Y'all, I don't know. Anywho, it's right there. And that makes nope, not another bingo. Okay, so that's three dollars. We'll put these two back and grab a five. Oh, and then put those two back and grab this 10. Okay. All right, so for now, Spooky Box is done. And if I have some more money, then we'll come back. Okay, so now we're going to my box, which is the Stitches box. And let's see how many cards. Four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and this one did not have an IOU. Okay, no. And I think because we don't have that much money, this is going to be another one where I just make everything $2. Oh, <sighs> oops, oops. I had an IOU slip in there again. Okay, so the left arm, the hammer. Uh, we'll, okay, so we'll put that three back and grab a five. And right down two yeah we're just gonna make them all two dollars again right leg two <laughs> oh excuse me sorry <laughs> left arm oh i gotta put the two in there there we go left arm and left arm again another two all right so there is that Okay, and then we will go back to the spooky box because we have more money. And let's see, five, six, seven. Eh, we got quite a bit. Okay, well, you know, I say that loosely. Three cards. One, two, and three. Three. Okay, so this cake is on section five. Oh my gosh, eight dollars. Five, seven, and eight. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. All right, let's pull the bingo back out. Where's that cake? Here it is. Okay. Section four. I think I already did that. Oh, nope. Okay. So $2 for this one. And that little piece of cake. Okay. I already marked it over there. All right. Then we have this trick-or-treat icon, which is in section three. And that is one, two, three dollars for that. And that also gives me a horizontal bingo, which is one, two, three, four dollars. All right. There we go. So that one again is done. Let me check my filming. All right, we're good. Okay. And we will go back to stitches and we have one, two, three, four. So it looks like enough money for two cards. Hopefully. <laughs> Left arm 
is two and left leg is two. All right, and that is it. That is all the money. That's it. Okay, so we finished. Well, we finished these as much as we're going to finish them for the year. I will not be playing these again for the remainder of this year. I will most likely pull them out again next year, but when I do, I'll be starting them over. So everything that we've done for you know the month of October, that's gonna be it. And I'm just gonna erase these and set the binders aside. And I will probably get, my dryer is so rude, sorry. I will probably get back to these again next year, probably during the same exact time, because I think they're perfect for Halloween, you know, for the spooky season. So. Anyway, definitely, again, go check out GB over at Income Babes. Check out my Etsy shop. I do have these binders still available as well. And the challenges are still available in both um, shipped and digital. Okay, so let's see how much we saved in the month of October for our box challenges. And this money I'm going to just leave here and then I will count this when I'm done with those. So we'll just leave that there for the month. So that won't be part of my end of the month totals. All right, so. Okay, 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 10, 25, 6, 7, 8, 228 dollars saved in the box challenges is amazing. Amazing. So I think my totals for October are going to be pretty good again. Um, let me put uh maybe I'll take this IOU that I just found and we'll put this here so I don't forget what this money was for. Um, but yeah, I think that my savings for this month are going to be pretty good. So definitely check out my video. Um, it'll probably come out on Saturday where I will do like, you know, my closeout for the month. So I'm going to put this in here. We didn't actually finish any of the boxes. So I'm not going to like ring the bell or anything because I didn't actually finish any of the boxes. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up in the comment and also leave me a picture of something sp spooky some emoji that is spooky to you you guys are amazing be safe be kind or be quiet and be well and i'll catch you in the next one